Hey everyone, it's Barry's Best Honey. I'm Mike. I'm Theron. And, and we, we do, do bees. bees. Welcome to North Florida. <laughs> That's right, folks. We're out here in North Florida. We're about uh, 30 minutes west of Lake City. We are out here, and we got a few things to do today. We had passed some, uh, fond it to him. To I'd sent it to him because his bees were starting to run out of stores in the blueberry patch. So we're going to run around and check those, which um, they have a totally different flow here. For whatever reason, we're directly west from them, and they're flows start here like he has problems with swarming in february and sometimes the end of january so we're gonna go just pop through a couple colonies not gonna do any inspections he's like me he doesn't tear them open but he did pull honey off of one just uh about three or four weeks ago so we're not gonna go tear him through nothing but we are gonna pop boxes and maybe look at the fondant that we sent to see how those bees that were light are doing out there at the blueberry farm and we're gonna take a look at some at the river and we got a removal to do they've been in there a while we've known about them for a while we tried to get them another time we just didn't work out time wise but today we have the time it's almost new year's and we're just goofing around i'm on the way to hive life a week from now going to do some vacation on the way up and stop by here to spend new year's with friends and family and uh and play with some bees a little bit again we're not doing any inspections we're just going to pop through a couple see how heavy they are see what their populations are like let's go on an adventure just goofing around, having a good time, and uh, playing with some bees. Pretty light? That's better. It's better than it was. You feel it. They got a little bit, but not much. Yeah, they're good. They're, good. they're heavy. Not super heavy, but... They're all white. Let's see what they did with that fondant. Still got plenty of it. Oh, they even eating it? Yeah. They're in it. Maybe. Yeah. They're starting it. They're just starting it. Yep. Oh, yeah. They're right up on. Look where they're at. They're just starting it. A beetle there. Don't hurt him. He must be lucky. They don't tear through it like you think they would. Some of them do. I think they had. Yeah, look at that one. Oh just Lord, yeah. starting on that one. These are the ones that were the most curious. So this fond has been on it for two and a half weeks or so? Yeah, I think so. About two and a half, three weeks. But also had the bottles full. Plus they had bottles, so they're taking what they need to. Wow. That one's good. And yeah, there you go. So they got it. But into you can see it. where they went. I don't. A lot of people cut the label out so you can see without lifting them. Doesn't right. matter one way or the other. I, I don't eat. I do it like this because the other side cuts easier. Yeah. But they're eating good on it. That's good. So it's holding them pretty well. Yep. Yep, I see. Wow, that's a nice looking colony. Yeah, of course, they're going through it faster, but you know, you can see. But man, that's a good looking colony. Look at that one now. They've cleaned that one out. Uh, leave it on there. Yeah, they've cleaned that one off. It's a good colony too. Here in North Florida, you guys come into a flow a month earlier than us anyway. So they'll be getting into some nectar here in the next, uh, what, month? Well, normally it would have been the end of this month. Yeah, that's what I mean, another month and yeah, you'll get into a good. I, I think that please is going to send us back a week or two. Yeah. River bees down here at the river. Yeah, these are curious. Now these are working a lot more. Yeah. No, I, I pulled six frames of seal of uh, cap honey. Yes, yeah, so we pulled honey off these last month because they're bringing in a bunch down here at the river. Which is only, we're only what, six miles away from the others? Uh, eight miles? Yeah. yeah they're, we're, we're right on the 10 mile. Eight so. Totally different flora, eight to ten miles away. 
And there's drones out the wazoo, two of them. I seen two drones go in and heard two fly right by. Oh, but I thought all the drones were kicked out and killed by now. And that's what the books say. <laughs> I don't see any pollen coming in. Yeah. You gotta remember, I don't have mean bees, they're just curious. Yeah, I threw it all together and ran. But it was nighttime too. These were know? bell peppers out here? Yeah. Pepper field? Wow, yeah, look at those that, bees. That's God. that uh, that honey at the house that's real clear. Wow, Before look at that. One, yeah, they're bouncing off my... Look at the bees in that box. Yeah, I don't think... It, being there hauling pollen, see how heavy they are. Get a load. And you just took honey off of them? Yeah. Oh, look at them bees. Look at yeah, them. I probably ought to put a box on this puppy, shouldn't I? Yeah, because you guys' flow starts so much faster. So much earlier. See that old drone. Oh, there's no drones this time of year. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't see any swarm cells. Yeah, That's yeah you guys will get swarm cells in another month. Y'all have swarm yeah. cells. Yeah, this box is loaded. All right. How heavy are they? Pretty heavy? They a little bit. Oh, yeah, they got a little weight on the top. Oh, there you slip. go. That was good. Yeah. Let's wake them up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they, uh, they seem to be heavy in the top. Be easier if you didn't have your gloves on. Yep. Oh wow. You yeah. Smell it. That's a fine colony too. Yeah. You guys are gonna be deep in the bee season in the next three weeks. Three to four weeks. You're gonna have to come back over. Might have to. Well, we come back in the spring usually, but you're done splitting by then. Yeah, these are from over that mean colony. No, curious. I don't have any mean mm. bees. I pulled a, didn't put a super back on this one after I pulled it. We're not inspecting, we're just looking at populations and, and feed. Because he'll be splitting soon here in North Florida. Um, he'll split a month and a half before me. So this is kind of an assessment to see who's going to be split. That one obviously needs to be split. And requeen. Because it's quite mean. No, but they made some honey. On top of this feed grinder and down in this and this we have a big old mound of bees that's a lot of bees so we're gonna unbolt this and take it to the house All right, so it's hanging. Went and tied it off. We're hanging up here. And what we're gonna do is tie it back to the grinder, let them all come home and then come back after dark and get it, bring it to the house, relocate these bees. And then we're gonna fume them out. See if we can fume them out or smoke them out because they're embedded in that thing and it's all pressed and tacked sheet metal. Let's try it there. I hope it'll get it. You ready? Yeah. Hey everybody, it's Barry's Best Honey. I'm Mike. I'm Theron. And we do bees. You didn't do it. You gotta, you gotta say it together. All right, go ahead. All right, go ahead. take two. <laughs> well, hey there everyone. It's Barry's Best Honey. I'm Mike. I'm Theron. And we do bees. You gotta say it with me. You gotta say, and we do bees together. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I get it, I get it, I get it. See, I'm kind of slow that way. He's slow, but he's worth you waiting on. He went to Florida and all. Yeah, he did go to the UF. All right, it's the next day. Let me show you what we got here. Um, we got that cyclone off of there. Whatever you call it. We call it a cyclone. Anyway, it's on, stuck in that deep to hold it straight up and down. And we're going to 
have to run them out. We can't cut that thing open. It's got to go back on. So the plan is, is to get a lot of smoke going in the bottom. It's not just wide open in there. There's a baffle, a rim all the way around. So there's a uh, void here that you can't get to. So we can't get to any of this comb. It's all, there's a tube that goes down. And so they're going down the tube and then back up and build all the comb around. So this will give us access to push them this way. Hopefully we can push smoke and repellent that way and have repellent down in the bottom as well. Push them up and watch to see if the queen comes out. Get what comb we can from in there. It's the best we could do for now. Um, it's the only plan we have right now without being able to cut this thing. We've bent it up a little bit. It's pretty heavy. We put it in the back of the truck in a 55 gallon drum. You can see that blue drum way up there. And we we stuck it in there upright and he sat in the back of the truck and they were really ornery by the time we got them in there and had a bag over them. So he had a bee suit on in the dark riding down the highway with the flashers on, <laughs> holding that uh, drum upright. Then we pulled around here and put it here. So, all right, first things first, gonna take his elbow off. We got him under the shelter because we had rain. But Oh yeah. So they filled it up and like I said there's a this is a tube in here. So it's, so they're behind there. So the plan is to kind of run them out of this hole and this hole at the same time watch for the queen and vacuum the bees that aren't the queen. How about that? Here they go. They're coming out the back end now. Now we're going to look for the queen. Here they come. They're pouring out now. Keep doing what you're doing. Yeah, that's what we want. Down there? Yeah, a little bit. They're coming still. Slowly, but they're coming. Not. Right, here comes another wave of them. Then we are, then we're looking all over the place. Just watch her; she goes in. Oh, you killed one. Uh oh. Come on, where are you at, girl? Let's get inside of this. I don't think I think she's inside of this. That. You think she's in the box? In here. What? Let me look in here real quick.
Well, the smoke goes through there a lot better now, don't it? Oh, yeah, and you got all the beads out of there. Something smaller then? Yeah, hold on. There it is. Yeah, just leave it like that. That'll run all the honey out. So here's where we're at. All that honey is from the comb we pulled out. What happened was we got every all as many bees run out as we could and then the rest were holed up. The problem we have with this particular cylinder, and you're not gonna be able to see them so you can get a light on it, is there's a rim around it, and you can't get the comb that's behind this rim in other words down in there when we turned it on its side it kind of spiraled so it began to you see break honey loose so that means drowned bees so what we did was we continued to run them out and we tried to get some of the comb out that had flip flopped around and we pulled it out well as we were breaking it it began to it began to um, leak honey everywhere and of course that's making a mess Hopefully our queen was up in there, or she came out and we didn't catch her and we sucked her up. We were able to get a few frames of brood that have eggs that we'll give them. Um, but we had to stop pulling the comb because we were, we were doing more harm than good. So there's no way to get up into there if she is in there. There's a lot of dead bees, there's honey and, and such. So we stopped where we were at and we're going to just put that. We got the old timey repellent that really smells like puke. And we're going to fill the top of it up and hope to push the rest of the bees at least out of this thing. And come back in a while, maybe we can find a cluster of bees with the queen. And that's the only hope we have. Other than that, the only other option is, is to combine them if we didn't get the queen, which I don't think we did. I think we would have saw her. I think the best course of action at this point is going to be get the, get the brood in a box and get the bees on it. Basically take that vacuum, combine it with a box with the brood because there's a bunch of bees we vacuum. Get them all in there on the, we got drawn comb in there, we got some foundation, wax, true wax foundation, and we have that brood. Get them in there and leave them for a week. And just see what they do and see what's in there. Uh, see if they take those eggs and create emergency cells if there is no queen. Um, there's plenty of drones out flying down here still. Um, not that the DCAs are really loaded with a good mixture of genetics but as I'm rudely interrupted but at least there's something out there we'll see if that happens if not in about a week or so what he can do is just, just take the box of bees throw them on one of his weaker colonies and call it a day at least we at least we uh, were able to salvage something of a nest that otherwise was going to be killed anyway so we did something I don't know if we were successful but we did something so let's finish this up so we're putting the old stink in there. He's got that nasty kind. Oh, that stuff is disgusting. Look in here. You think they'd come up here? Yeah. They, oh my gosh, that stuff stinks. Yeah, yeah, they might. They might come up there. I'd leave that open and I'd I'd put it in there. You can put it. Also put one in there and seal it. I don't know, man. I don't know if I'd 
I might would just leave two entrances open. I don't know if I would. I'd put it on the rim inside there. God, oh, stuff stinks. Oh my gosh, I don't know how people used to use it. Well, it's coming out, so all we can do is push them and hope she'll come on out if she is still in there. Unfortunately, there's a lot of dead bees in uh, a soup of honey that was on the bottom. But I mean, normally, if she didn't get squished between two combs, when we were flipping and flopping it, trying to get it in position, and she normally would have either run out or run up into a corner. And the comb at the very top was a lot more solid. So hopefully she is up there and we'll, we'll run her out. That's, that's all we can hope for. So we're down here and we're figuring out how we're gonna get these boxes together because he didn't put his slide screen in. And we look down here as we're watching stuff drip out and he finds a piece of comb with the queen on it. She's still alive. She, her legs are moving, she's covered in honey. We'll put her in with the nurse bees and they can clean her up. Yep. So we're gonna put her to the side put her in a cage and we're going to um wow and that's what we we're waiting on and i looked down earlier didn't see her and that just goes to show why you need a second set of eyes he looked down there and immediately saw her so there we go perfect she's moving now she's trying to get she's covered in mm -hmm. honey just like i said that cologne that once we collapsed all that comb we probably got her in that soup of honey so let's get her in a cage and we're going to try and get these boxes combined i don't know if she's going to make it but at least we got her and we'll figure it out from there what i mean what else she going to do Maybe we can get rid of that stupid cylinder now and all that funk. They're going to her. So that's a good sign. That's a good sign. They're dealing with her. They'll clean her off. Oh yeah, she's moving all right now. What a save. If he wouldn't have saw her, it would have been over. You did it, man. I'll tell you. you. I don't know how you spotted her. I don't think she just fell out on that comb, did she? I have no idea. She may have, Mike. Because there was comb rolling out piece by piece, but I didn't see her. I'm glad you spotted her. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave the queen in the cage right now. The, the nurse bees are getting in there, and they're, they're working on her. She's moving much better, and we're going to release her tomorrow when they can get her cleaned up. Well, everyone, it's the next day. We have got those bees settled in a box. We caged her. Um, and you may be wondering, why in the world did we cage her? Well, with the way she was covered up in honey and she wasn't doing that good, we just wanted to kind of isolate her um, to see how she was going to do. So we could, you know, find her the next day to see did she live or die. Uh, if we would just let her go and then not spotted her the next day we might not know if she was okay after the trauma she went through because she did come out of there with a piece of comb and covered in honey so she looked better in the cage once we got her in there but we caged her up so that they could get in clean her off we could at least see if she made it through the night and you know see what happens because if she didn't we're going to wind up uh he's going to wind up having to combine this colony with a weak one um if she is okay then we're going to have this thing prepped with new frames or some good frames and they're going to be moved to another location probably tonight or tomorrow night so anyway uh, let's go wrap this thing up it's a removal but it's not my annual removal because we actually did it on new year's eve of 2022 so it's not my annual removal so now i've got to still do an annual removal oh well they're hauling debris out that's a good thing uh, I think they're reorienting because they're actually dragging trash out and that's what you want to see and there's all the old debris look all the debris coming out they're dragging old wax out we only put a couple pieces of brood comb from them that we could salvage but look at all the debris they're pulling out they got sucked up so we're gonna try and get these things settled and ready to move see if the Queen's still alive to see what we have to deal with there's our bees These are old foundation drawn out combs. I'm gonna see if they're, oh wow. And look, there's nectar in it. That's good. That means they're poop orders. Well, I'm sure they're pulling it off the frames and cleaning it up and finding nectar. So that's a good sign. They've already cleaned that frame up. That goes to show when you get mildew all over the frames when you store them, like I've shown in my videos, they clean it right up. Look at them, they're fixing it up. 
They're festooning all through there. Oh, they're cleaning all that up. So they're here. They're good. They're happy. And there she is. She's in there. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna pull her out in a minute. We'll when we go to release her. But let's. We're gonna check on her in a minute. She's obviously doing fine. I'm sure. So that brood cone fell out. That's all right though. We'll just we'll get a new rubber band. Watch yourself. Hold on. Let me tilt that thing back. I'm helping. Okay. You get that sucker tuned off. Flip it wrong over. All right, there's our queen. I just seen her. She's all cleaned off. Oh, really? She yep. Looks, she looks like a queen now. See, I see her on this side. There she is on that side. She's in there. Yeah, drone. Bring both of the drone, and we're gonna put the foundation in the outside. Foundation. Yep. All right. That's all right. You can't back and go here. Of bees in this. You ain't kidding. It's a, it smells like beer. That's not good. <laughs> I don't know where they come up with that. All right, so we want. So let me hold this one. You move that one into place. All right, you ready? Yep. You got the coin. Where's she? I got her over here. Go ahead. All right. You move. All right so. There she, there she goes. There she goes. Don't fly. Down she went. Here? Yeah, you're good. Go ahead. All right, we got a good box of bees here. Are you kidding? We're gonna put fondant on here just to kind of hold them over until you can get feed to them. No, we don't cut the label because it's just easier to cut through the plastic. I know everybody says cut the label and that way you can see, but it doesn't matter. We never get to have them complain. Yeah, the bees love it. Put it on. We got a shim in here. The shim is gonna take care of going on top of the fondant. We're gonna smoke them off the fondant so we don't squish any. Uh, yep, go ahead. Oh, we don't have a boiler rod. Right. That's all right. All right, so we're good. There they go, they're gonna be happy. They're getting moved tonight to their new location once it gets dark. So they only have to reorient one more time. And uh, that fondant's gonna hold them over for a week or so. And there's already nectar spread through some of the frames. I'm guessing they cleaned up some of them honey frames and where they're going, we were seeing nectar in the hives, so they should be okay to collect nectar. So there you go, folks. A successful removal that we thought may not be successful, but it ended up being successful. It all worked out. Uh, the queen is alive and well. She looked really good. And she was uh, good and energetic in that cage, and then she went right on down in the colony. We put her in the middle. It's kind of a mixture of old comb, new comb. They're working the wax. They're cleaning up the colony or the hive, so that's a good sign. That just goes to show that they're doing what they're supposed to do and that they're acting normal. So we were able to get them out of that piece of equipment, get them in a hive, and get them out on some property. So that's a good thing. So until the next one, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I appreciate all y'all's support. I appreciate y'all watching. Hope y'all had a happy new year, and hope y'all have a great year to come. It's Barry's Best Honey. I'm Mike. And I did bees. Y'all have a wonderful, wonderful afternoon. And may God bless you. We'll see y'all later.